Hi everyone, so I thought I'd do a quick follow-up video to the 5 tips for controller players Island Royale video. Recently quite a number of people have been asking me through Discord DMs or YouTube comments about how to set controller binds on PC and also what binds work best in IR. So in this video I'll be running through how to set controller binds on PC and also what binds I use when playing. So for this tutorial you'll need Island Royale loaded up on your PC and also a controller connected to your PC or laptop. The controller I use is connected via USB but I do know some more recent models can be connected via Bluetooth. However for this tutorial you will need a PC controller to set this up. I'm not too sure whether this works for Xbox players although feel free to try this tutorial out if you are an Xbox player as the layout is identical on both Xbox and PC. Obviously the controller will already be connected to your console since it's all in one system. So onto the actual binding of keys. Now this is the main menu screen and this should be familiar with everybody that has played Island Real recently and if you go to the bottom right corner of the screen there should be a key binds button down here double click and then you should be onto this screen here which is where all of your inputs are displayed and these will translate into the game once you get into one. So the quickest way to change your key bind is just to click where the key is. So I'm going to use the aim and scope one so click there and it will ask you to press a key. I'm just going to keep it as mouse button two for now before we actually get onto the uh, controller binds. But what binds work best on controller? Now obviously you'll get different answers from different people. PC players have variations in their binds and so naturally controller players will as well. I tend to keep my binds as close to Fortnite inputs as possible which is what you'll see here. So to set your controller binds on PC click the key which you want to change so I'm going to change the aim and scope and then I'm going to click the L2 button because that is what it is on Fortnite and so you have set your bind to aim and scope on controller as well. To reset an edited build this is to click the right trigger down so if I do that that's R3 and so you'll obviously just go down the list one at a time and just fill out whatever you were uh, you need to have your bind. So after a couple of minutes of uh, swapping and changing my bind this is what it looks like at the end of it. Now not every change is necessary on controller either because there isn't enough buttons on the controller or it just isn't useful in game. Now if I just scroll to the bottom real quick, some of the changes are related to the game, chatting isn't really relevant, uh, using emotes, I don't really use them that much, uh, keybinds in game you don't need, uh, there's, there's a lot of stuff on here that isn't exactly relevant, ping location I haven't changed, item slots are changed manually using the left bumper and right bumper so I haven't changed those. And then finally, when it comes to building, uh, every button is the same. It's just you need to change between your floor and your ramp using your left bumper and right bumper. So there isn't a need to have a separate button for each build. Another thing is on PC, you can't input the uh, left bumper or right bumper controls on this because it just swaps you between these top tabs. So kind of a thing that needs to be fixed but at the end of it feel free to pause the video and you can see what binds I use to play Island Royale with. But what does that look like in game? Well the short answer is not much. Controller players have a default setting on PC so you'll find that the binds may only change some specific controls. Feel free to test out some binds but you'll likely find that you can build the same, loot the same and shoot the same on Xbox and PC. And that's it. Thanks so much for making it to the end of the video and I hope you all found it very useful. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit the like button and comment down below what you would like to see next. For future videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss one of those. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.